Hey guys, it's Jack and welcome back to another Pinback Shack video. Today I'm going to be going through my Disneyland Paris haul. These are the stuff I bought in Disney. Now you might be thinking, Jack, but you already did one of these. You, did, you went through all your pins, all of them, lots of them, so many. If you've not checked out that video, link will be up there to that. But this is my, my part two, this is my non-pin stuff because I've, I bought, a, I only didn't buy too much, I bought a little bit of stuff. But... I thought I'd talk through them today, and some of this stuff I was so excited when I found it, I you could not believe how excited I was. First thing to set, first thing to open then is when I got to the parks, I got this little excited like, little cover that up just because it's got my personal details on it and stuff, and I don't want to get doxxed today. Uh, but let's open it up. I, this is just a, some of this. Oh, no, that's fine. It's not mine. <laughs> I found a pin in there then and was like, oh, I need to, I, I should have put that in my pin video, but no, it wasn't. It was a gift for a friend. So I put a lot of my, um, like my miscellaneous stuff in this, in here. We got a few nice little things. I'm going to talk you through them because these will be going with my, uh, well, the first lot is, is a set of like, uh, like postcard things, which I got, I bought a few when I was last in Florida, link there to my Florida uh, haul from last year, but got some quite nice little postcard things. The first one was one I got with my hotel room stay, which was a Newport Bay one, which is very exclusive, quite nice. Nice looking design there, but that said, very excited to receive that. That was what started this. And then, because I do like my art prints and stuff. I mean, none of these are particularly like actual prints, the more actual just postcards you can buy at like every shop. First one was the Disneyland castle there's on paris castle there at night which is really cool the second one is all the characters and stuff at the actual castle as well and the final one is, is a 30th anniversary um like special postcard one with all the characters and a couple of the rides and the design of like the 30th um design stuff is all around the parks but again i thought this was really cool and this is definitely a nice looking one it has the 30th anniversary stuff on the back whereas the others i think just have just in paris oh it does actually say what they are as well on the back exclusive product is on paris Disneyland Paris. the chocolat de la de la belle au bois dormant the castle of sleeping beauty Mickey et ses amis devant le château de la Belle au Bois Dormant, which is Mickey and friends at the castle at Sleeping Beauty's castle, which is obviously what they are doing. I didn't realize it was. Oh yeah, of course it's. Ugh. Of course it's Sleeping Beauty's castle. But moving on, next thing I am. I was so excited when I saw this. You guys might know that I am a big fan of Jungle Book, specifically of a certain character in Jungle Book and I have previously bemoaned if not on this channel then certainly to friends about the lack of this particular character's merchandise and especially plushes shall we say so to my surprise you do not understand how excited I was when on the first night walking through the parks I happened to stumble across this little bad boy. Little Dinky Bagheera. Little, my, my little Dinky Bagheera plush. We love Bagheera. I think I've got the pin version of this because I think they did them as like big eye um, like characters and stuff. And these were all the little versions. But so, so, mini, mini Bagheera Naif. And I don't know if that's a, just a, a brand name. Well, no idea. But there is Bagheera, my little, my little buddy, my little pal, my little friend. Love having a little bit gear around. And I will have to show you guys some of the clips from that Jungle Book thing at some point. We, I'm still trying to organise an actual watch party because obviously a lot of my mates and stuff are all out and about and busy at the moment. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks we can I can get that sorted. And we can we can do a video on that, which will be weird because it's it'll be Math me, Matthew and Paddy at least, uh, who you've, you've met guys previously. Probably invite a few of the others down just for just so they can laugh at our expense as well. But you know, it'll be a, that might be a weird video. It'll be a good one though. It'll be a good but tremendously, tremendously weird. Next up, is it really a Disney trip if you don't buy ears? 
and I didn't buy New Year's when I was in Florida, so I, that, that, that wasn't a trip. I have to do it again. Sorry, I don't make the rules, just enforce them. But I thought, I will buy some ears if I find some good ones. That's the main thing. That's For me, is like I want to find some comfy, nice ears that appeal to me. I've previously bought Star Wars ones, because they look cool. And this year, I went a little bit further and went... And bought some Guardians of the Galaxy ones. Now, is there a Guardians ride at Disneyland Paris? No. Is there any way to meet the characters of Guardians of the Galaxy? I don't think so. Possibly at Avengers Camp first. I didn't see anything. Like, I saw a lot of like, the Marvel, like the Avengers -y Camp characters. But not many of the Guardians stuff. So. I'm not complaining though, because they are lovely ears. They are really nice. And there's a little little baby Groot on there. Little baby Groot. He's waving at you. Oh. But that brings me on to my last item. And it's a thing that I bought last time I was in Paris as well. Uh, when I went in 2019, I bought myself one of the Starbucks You Are Here mugs. And it lasted me about two years. It was a really good mug. And I, I, I used it quite a lot. I probably used it more than I used my other mugs. But during COVID, about, I think it was about two years to the day, I think we worked out that. So when I bought it, it broke. I was making myself a hot Vimto. I had my little, my, my, you know, my uh, caught warm blackcurrant cordial for Americans that don't know what Vimto is. Um, had my cordial in the cup. I had my kettle on, I poured put my water into my kettle, I heard a small crack, and all of a sudden my kitchen counter was covered in <laughs> warm Vimto. Um, so I was a bit I was a bit upset about that, because it was a nice mug as well. But I have bought myself... I was looking for the Avengers Campus one, they didn't have any. So I bought myself the 30th anniversary one. I thought, you know what, buy myself a specialty one. Uh, it's got a few like rides and stuff on it, it's got... It's just a Disneyland Park one, so uh, Hyperspace Mountain, The Castle, Autopia, Small World, Pirates of the Caribbean, Phantom Manor, Astro Orbiters, uh, The Trains, Big Thunder Mountain, and The Teacups. But it's the 30th anniversary stuff, which is so cool, and I love that. I had to travel to one of the hotels for it, because I know a couple of the... Like the cheaper hotels have um the have a, have a starbucks in there as well uh whereas the starbucks in disney uh the disney village which is like the of well, disney springs but it's like a budget disney springs didn't have any in but that was my haul let me know what you guys think of it and whether you've got any of this stuff and hope you'll have an amazing day check out my previous videos you're in here subscribe right along here Hope you all have an amazing day, and I will talk to you all next time.